Hey everyone, this video is on electromagnetic braking. As the name suggests, electromagnetic braking is a type of braking system that uses electromagnetic induction to produce a braking force and cause deceleration for a vehicle. Forms of vehicle that use this type of braking include trains and trams, roller coasters, and elevators. Before we delve into how electromagnetic braking works, let's review the concept of eddy currents. When a conductor of a large surface area, such as a metal plate, experiences changes in magnetic flux, an EMF is induced according to Faraday's law. This EMF will produce eddy currents, which are currents that flow in a circular manner as shown. The direction of this eddy current depends on the nature of the flux change. We can determine the direction by using Lenz's law, which states that the direction of an induced current will be such that the resultant force acting on the conductor will oppose the change in flux that induced the current in the first place. For example, when a metal plate is moved out of the magnetic field, the decrease in magnetic flux it experiences induces an EMF. The eddy current produced from this EMF will produce an attractive force that tries to pull the metal plate back into the magnetic field. This means the direction of the magnetic flux produced by the eddy current would also be directed into the page in the same direction as the external magnetic field. Using the right hand grip rule, when the thumb is pointing into the page in the direction of the magnetic field, the fingers will be directed clockwise. And therefore, the eddy current in this example will flow in a clockwise direction. Conversely, when a metal plate is moved into the magnetic field, an increase in magnetic flux will produce an eddy current that flows in an anti-clockwise direction, as this would produce a repulsive force. By Lenz's law, this repulsive force is present so that it opposes the motion of the metal plate, which caused the change in magnetic flux in the first place. In an electromagnetic braking system, the wheel of the vehicle is positioned adjacent to a magnetic field as shown. When the brake is turned on, the magnetic field is present. As the wheel rotates, it experiences changes in magnetic flux, and by Faraday's law, this results in an EMF being induced. Similar to the metal plate examples we discussed previously, eddy currents will form in the wheel. By Lenz's law, the direction of an eddy current depends on the nature of the flux change. The part of the wheel that is moving towards the magnetic field experiences an increase in magnetic flux. As a result, the direction of eddy current will be such that a repulsive force is produced to oppose this increase in flux. Since the magnetic field direction is downward from the North Pole to the South Pole of the magnet, the direction of the magnetic field here would be the opposite, heading upwards, as shown by the blue arrow. Using the right hand grip rule, pointing the thumb upwards would correspond to an eddy current that flows in an anti clockwise direction, as shown. What about the part of the wheel that is moving away from the magnetic field? Exactly the opposite occurs. This part of the wheel experiences a decrease in magnetic flux and the eddy current will produce a magnetic field that is also directed downwards, as this will produce an attractive force that opposes the decrease in flux. Using the right-hand grip rule, pointing the thumb downwards will correspond to an eddy current that flows in a clockwise direction, as shown. So the repulsive force in this part of the wheel and the attractive force in this part of the wheel are acting as braking forces that will, together will decelerate the angular speed of the wheel. Electromagnetic braking is also an application of the motor effect. As there's an eddy current carrying conductor, which is the wheel, in an external magnetic field, the combination of these two components will result in an electromagnetic braking force that causes the wheel to decelerate. Here's another look at the direction of eddy currents. The direction of eddy currents to the left and the right of the magnetic field are always opposite to one another because one part of the wheel is experiencing an increase in magnetic flux, while the other a decrease in flux. 
The eddy currents induced in the part of the wheel that experienced an increase in flux will always produce a repulsive force, while the eddy current induced in the part of the wheel that experienced a decrease in flux will produce an attractive force. In electromagnetic braking, the wheel's mechanical energy is transformed into electrical energy in the form of eddy currents. Due to the electrical resistance of the material that the wheel is made of, the electrical energy is further transformed into heat. There are several advantages of electromagnetic braking over the conventional mechanical braking. First, no frictional forces are involved in electromagnetic braking. The braking force is electromagnetic in nature, rather than mechanical. This results in less frequent maintenance or replacement of the braking system. Second, by Faraday's law, we know that the magnitude of EMF induced in the wheel is proportional to the rate of flux change, which is determined by the rotational speed of the wheel. The magnitude of braking force is also proportional to the magnitude of the induced current. And we know that the magnitude of the induced current depends on the magnitude of EMF. Together, this means if the wheel has a greater rotational speed, this would result in a larger braking force. The electromagnetic braking system is able to apply a larger braking force and deceleration when the vehicle is traveling at greater speeds. For example, if the vehicle is traveling at 20 meters per second, the braking system will induce a EMF and current of greater magnitude and the current will in turn produce a braking force that is larger compared to when the vehicle is traveling at 10 meters per second. This concludes the video on electromagnetic braking.